This video will provide a short overview of a document produced by the Multi-State Fleet Response Working Group in support of the Regional Mutual Assistance Groups. If you click on Disaster Tools from the home page, you can scroll down to the document called RMAG FRWG Engagement Guidance. If you click on the link, you can download and print the document. This document was produced in May of 2015 and provides guidance and details both to the Regional Mutual Assistance Groups, or the RMAGs, and the states on how this process is initiated. This process is used to coordinate multiple fleets with states that need to cross multiple state lines to reach the impacted states for restoration. Number four is the process used today. Each of the Regional Mutual Assistance Groups has a representative on the Fleet Response Working Group Steering Committee. When they need help, an email request is sent, which is email one. The RMAG requests support from the Regional Fleet Response Working Group. The RMAG provides specifics as far as the help they're looking for, the information they need, the departure times, the estimated numbers of people and trucks, the, the uh, states they're leaving from and going to. That email comes into the Fleet Working Group and immediately it's turned around, email number two, the Fleet Working Group sends out an email to both the impacted states and the pass-through states that are involved. The email requests the RMAG data, and it also asks questions for the states to turn around responses to if they have them, such as declarations, guidance on restricted roads, um, how to expedite through toll stations or way stations, and other pertinent information. Email three are the email responses that come back from the states. All of those responses are sent to a single email address, fleetmove at fleetresponse.org. Those emails that come back from states hit that email and are immediately disseminated to the Fleet Response Working Group Executive Committee and the RMAGs. This process is in place 24-7 and requires no human intervention. Email four is sent out from the Fleet Working Group to both public and private sector, which summarizes this exchange of information. A spreadsheet is attached normally, where tab one is the summary of the private sector resource movement, and tab two of the spreadsheet is the summary of the state response and guidelines they provided. This information is shared on a gentleman's agreement for official use only through email. The Fleet Working Group is working on other processes to help expedite the flow and improve security. As you scroll through the document, you can see the types of information being requested. There's also a description here, number five, of when the RMAGs convene their call, how they engage with a single RMAG or multiple RMAGs, or even the national response event where the Edison Electric Institute steps in and helps to coordinate multiple RMAGs. There's contact information. Uh, listed there. There's some quick reference lists involved in that as well um, that will provide you more information, websites, and tools that you can look at. Appendix 1 contains a sample spreadsheet where the RMAG data is compiled and reading left to right. Uh, individuals can look at that spreadsheet and determine how many trucks are going through what states to reach what states. And then Appendix 2 is the public sector tab of information. When states reply back to us, we record their information and put it in that, in that format. Appendix 3 contains a list of FEMA regions for the private sector to know what, how the regions are divided up. It's a question that comes up quite often.